Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your video for um, from now until the end of November. So you could say mid-November to the end of November. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I generally focus on love. Whatever comes up, comes up, you know. And this reading does not have your name on it. So it's for somebody, might not be you. I'm using the Vice Versa deck, and I have already cut this deck with the Vice Versa deck. I always cut it before I turn on the reading to just, I don't know why I do it just with this deck, but it is just the way it goes. Anyway, I've cut it, and we are at the Knight of Wands. And it looks like he's turning his back on a situation, and he's moving forward, and he's going about ready to face some sort of storm. Okay? He's about ready to face some sort of stormy weather. Okay. Maybe he's gotten some sort of epiphany, kind of like a lightning bolt of um, knowledge or some kind of um, great inspiration that has hit him like a brick or something like that. I don't know. Either way, this guy is taking action and he's making moves. All right. He's moving. And, um... It's like he's got a new adventure in front of him, and he knows it, and he knows that it's not going to be easy, but he's going to do it anyway, because he has the passion to do it. It's like, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. So I think you guys have been ready for, for some sort of new beginning, because this is the Ace of Wands. I mean, it is in his hand. You've been, you've been getting ready for it, and you are ready for it. And this is some, whatever, wherever you're going, wherever you're headed, there's opportunity for growth. And it's, and it's exciting. It is exciting with that Ace of Wands. It's like you're going this, in this direction um, for good reason, okay? And because, you know, I think that you, this card can often signify not really thinking about it first, just taking action, but I think you have thought about it. I think you've thought about this for quite some time, about how or what direction you should go. And I think we're at this point, you're at, at the point where it's time to go. I'm going. Ain't nothing can hold me back now because it's like you're lit up. You've, your passion has been relit and you're headed. You're headed. And wherever you're headed... Um, You made the right decision, okay? You made the right decision. So don't second guess yourself or self-doubt, any of that. You've made the right decision. And wherever you're going, it's going to restore balance. It's going to bring some balance back to your life, okay? You made the right decision. It's like you guys have... Seeing the truth of a situation as well with that justice card. Like I said, did I say epiphany? I might have. You've received some sort of epiphany. Yeah. That says, okay, time to time to kick it into gear. And these aren't reversals because there's there's you see. So some of you will that don't know tarot will question that, but whatever. I'm not gonna explain it at this point. You guys are going to be recognized and respected by by taking the power in your own hands. Look at this shit, okay? <laughs> I told you, he had the Ace of Wands in his hands. It's like you guys have made the decision. The solid, firm decision. It's like you're taking the authoritative role. You're in charge. I'm the boss. The, the passion is in your hand. This is the sword of fire, okay? The sword of passion. And it's a new beginning. And it's like the sun rises, okay? The sun rises and your new day starts and you're on top again. It's crazy shit, right? Anyway, this is victory and success. You're progressing in the right direction. And look at the people. Even though there's been some bloodshed, you're being recognized. You're being... Um, respected and um, noticed for your ability to 
lead perhaps or your ability to bring success to something because he's like the leader and these people helped him to win the battle but he was kind of like the boss the the commander in charge so you know and i think that all these people that have been on your side have been that have been helping you are going to recognize your strength, your valor, and your nobility to succeed. Your perseverance. So be prepared to be recognized for all the hard work that you've done. Put it that way. By people that have supported you. Your supporters are going to recognize you. They're rec they recognize you right now. But there could be some sort of... I don't know, maybe it's even public recognition, okay? Because this is kind of like, this guy's like, you could even say it's kind of like a parade or something. There could be even some public recognition for your ability to rise above some sort of whatever it was, situation. Um, either way. You have a new beginning here with this Ace of Wands. And this is, a, this is a new beginning that you can be passionate about. And I think you are passionate about it. And there's a room for a lot of growth, excitement. Um, look at how strong that arm is. That's a strong arm. It's because you've persevered. You have persevered through some sort of storm. And you've gained some strength. And now you're being given a new opportunity. And here at the end, we have this Queen of Cups. This is about, this is the Queen of Love. Unconditional love. And that's a big cup in her hand. So you're going to be receiving some sort of love. And it could just be from your supporters. And it could be, this could have started from your own self-love. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Either way, we have a new beginning that is coming to you. It's being brought to you because you worked hard to achieve it. You did. And I think you may have... Decided that the time is now to take the power, that's the sort of power, in your own hands and have the new beginning, your new day. It's like it's a new day, new life, new beginning. Oh, yes it is. New chapter, the Wheel of Fortune. Everything happens for a reason. One chapter of your life is over. Done. The wheel is spinning in your favor. Ace of Cups. Look at that. And the strength. Remember I said, look at how strong that arm is. This is his arm. No shit. And this is a card of strength. And look at I love it when they come up. You have persevered through some sort of troublesome situation, and that is no joke. That is no joke. And now you are be re being rewarded with some sort of emotional healing or support or love. And now this this could go for this could come from friends, family. It could come from both many people, many people. There's going to be more recognition for your strength than you can even imagine. It's like, you've been through some sort of war zone, right? You have. But you come out the victor. Consider this a victory. 
because now you're being given a new beginning and that is no joke where there's going to be more emotional fulfillment and growth than you even thought possible seriously this is fantastic now we have the page of wands this is the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands. This is your exciting new opportunity, the road opening in front of you. A new path is unfolding, a new opportunity. There's so much, I mean, you could basically see, say he has the Ace of Wands again. It's like you're rising from the ashes. I mean, that's what this is, right? You're rising from the ashes, the Phoenix rising after the war zone, after the death, rebirth. That's what's going on here. And that is exactly, the sun is coming up and it's new life, like I said a minute ago. It's the end of an era. It's the end of a chapter. You're headed to a much better place where you are going to be recognized and respected for your hard work, your strength, your valor, your ability to persevere through struggle. I mean, it's been a struggle, right? And it's because you take the lead. You have made the decision to take action. And it looks like you're going you're gonna to be very emotionally fulfilled. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You, you, if you are a Aries male, you may have a, uh, you may have a um, choice between two people. Just saying, a water sign and an earth sign. If you're an Aries female, you may have a choice. You may have a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here coming in. I don't know. Could be. You could also have a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius coming into your life. Either way, there's love. There's love around you. There's love to be had. And there it's like unconditional love to be had. Okay? Whether this is from family, friends, or a new partner, because there could be a new partnership. Absolutely. If you are single, there could be a new person entering your life that relights that flame within you and you start a brand new life with this person that could absolutely be the case for some of you either way it looks as though you have found your ability to get grounded be practical open your heart head in a new direction and bring something really really good into your life because something really really good is coming with that wheel of fortune and whatever is coming whatever is coming into your life with this wheel of fortune is stable it's a solid offer something that you can take to the bank it may even bring you more money Whatever is happening, you may get an increase in pay or something. Or somebody might even give you a gift of money. I don't know what this is. But this is like receiving a some sort of good fortune for your perseverance. There's no doubt. That's what it is. And this is, just, I mean, this is just, this is love. This is exciting. This is exciting. Okay. So whatever is coming into your life is going to be very, very, very fulfilling. And it's going to allow you to start over. It's like start fresh. It's a new day. That's all I can keep thinking. It's a new day. A new life is about to start for you. And it's because you take action and take the lead. That's what this is. I think that you guys have been stuck in a rut in this war zone for quite some time. But it looks like you're ready to face this storm and you're going to head head in face first, you know, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, face first. Um, and because you do that, your supporters are going to recognize it and they're going to open up to you. 
and you're going to receive a, some sort of reward for it. So congratulations. Because you take action, you're receiving a reward. Okay? And whatever this reward is, it's going to be emotionally fulfilling and it's going to be exciting. I mean, and it's something, I mean, one, one, it's something you've manifested and it's going to help you to get your life back on track. It's that phoenix rising from the ashes. Congratulations. Try not to get distracted. Okay. Try not to keep going. Now we have this King of Cups reversed, or with his back turned. You may feel like things are a little overwhelming. You may feel like your cup is empty, or you may feel a little emotional as these changes are happening, but that's normal. It is normal. You're, you may be feeling a little tranquil at the time, at this time, you know, feeling a tranquility, tranquility. As you leave this past behind, because this is a completion, a completion of one phase, one chapter in your life. And you may feel like a little secluded or like you need to isolate yourself as these changes are happening. Because change is difficult, all right? So you may need to, may feel like you need to turn your back from the world as you are taking back your power. But there's nothing wrong with that because you got to do whatever you got to do to move in the direction that is going to be best for you. Hold on, I'm going to bring it out. Not in, out. All right. So, yeah, you guys are moving in a new direction. And this new, at the, when you get to where you're going, there's not going to be any more trouble. You're, you're, you're leaving the trouble behind. So, you guys are definitely heading in a new direction. Whatever is happening is bringing you to a better place. It's going to bring you some sort of reward. I mean, this is good luck, good fortune. And this, she's holding an, a golden opportunity in her hand. She's holding the Ace of Pentacles. So you could really say that you have three aces here. One, one, one. You're, you are going to receive some sort of reward that you have worked hard to receive. You've manifested it. Whatever it is that you're receiving is abundant, okay? It is. It is. It's going to be very, very fulfilling. It's going to be, I mean, you're going to love it. It's going to be exciting. And it's going to be solid. I mean, what more can I say? You're moving to a much better place. You may feel a little uncomfortable with these changes, but you've made the right decision. You've made the right decision. Whatever decision that you made, remember that justice card we saw at the beginning, and I said it was the right one. Absolutely it is. Whatever decision that you have made recently or you are making this week, do not deny your intuition. Just do it because it is the right decision. It's going to lead you to victory and success and a new start, a new lease on life, and that's no joke. Get one of these. Oh God! I can't. You know, if it flips over, I can't deny it. I'm not gonna be the one that does that shit. There's no such thing in coinc as coincidence in my life. Be prepared to face the storm we started this reading out with you facing a storm so yeah and the, here's the war zone i mentioned earlier there could be some sort of situation that puts you right in the middle of the war zone and you come out the victor so be prepared to face some sort of struggle per se 
but you are going to have the ultimate support. So say what you got to say. Do what you got to do because you're the boss. You take the lead. Face the storm and you will come out on top. Ten. Completion. This this storm that you and another one it converts to a one. This storm that you are about to face may come in like a tornado or a hurricane. May come in like lightning. Remember I said lightning bolt at the beginning. It may come in just like that. It's gonna come in, it's gonna cause some damage, some destruction for a second. And then you're going to Persevere and start over in a new direction that brings you everything that you've been wishing for. And that, I'm sorry, this sounds too good to be true, but I mean, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, basically the Ace of Pentacles, she's holding that Ace of Pentacles, okay? What you have manifested is coming to fruition. Unfortunately, you're going to have to face this storm to receive it. But then, with endings, bring new beginnings. It's tense, completion. One phase of your life, with the Wheel of Fortune, one chapter is going to close. The, the chapter that has left you struggling and you're headed in a direction of towards victory and success where you're going to be recognized for perseverance I mean I can't say anything else Whatever is happening is very, very good. Aries, be prepared for some sort of storm, okay? There's a storm of brewing. Yes, there is. And you're going to be the very first card, like I said, you're going to face it. You are. You're not. You are. You aren't going to have a choice but to face it. To take the lead. You're going to have to take that power in your hands. Seriously. He's got the Ace of Swords in his hands. <laughs> he does. He does. So we have basically all four aces here. That's the ace of swords. The sword of power, the sword of truth, authority. You taking your power is going to bring balance and harmony and peace back to your life. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. For some of you, there is a new opportunity for love here. It's not somebody from your past. It's somebody new. There's no anybody from your past here. There's not. This says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's a clear indication that it is not somebody from your past. Your soulmate differs from who you think it is. That's what that card says. Keep an open mind. I didn't show you this card, but I'm going to now since that card has come up. Walking away. Somebody is walking away from a situation And they may feel like a little emotional because that's what they have to do. But you got to do what you got to do to be successful, to get the love that you deserve. So for some of you, you are walking away from a situation right into happiness. And that is no joke. And this could be a sudden decision. You might, you, it could be a sudden decision. There could be a, like I said, it could come like a lightning bolt. 
an epiphany. All of a sudden, there's some sort of event or fight or, because this could be a battle. This is a battle as well. I mean, look at, there's blood, okay? So there's some sort of, and I said battleground, I think. I'm not sure. There's some sort of, whatever, fight, burst, battle, whatever. Some sort of storm, okay? That's the reality of it. There's some sort of shit storm coming. And this shit storm is going to lead you to a much better place. And I know nobody wants to hear that, but facing the shit storm is going to bring you peace. <laughs> so be prepared for the shit storm, Aries. It is on the way. But in the end, you're going to have a new beginning. And this new beginning is going to be a hell of a lot better than where you've been. So, shit storm coming. Talk to you next time.